What's up YouTube? I'm about to do a review of Jacoji Fine Jewelry. Uh, first I want to start off by saying that I am female and I don't see that many female reviewers of Jacoji on YouTube. So I just want to point that out because I am a female but I do like uh, larger size chains somewhere around medium size. So there's a presumption that females like you know thinner smaller chains or that those are most suitable for females and while that might be the reality um, it doesn't really suit me so um, I'm big into hip-hop culture the music and fashion so uh, the bigger chains just suit me a little bit better so having said that um, I already opened this FedEx box um, Jacoji was packaged um, and uh, shipped in a FedEx box as you see here so I already opened that up. Um, when I first did this video, I had a little piece of lint on my screen that I realized after I finished the video. And there were a few other things um, that I could have done better. So I tried to redo it, uh, make it as good as possible. But I usually don't make uh, videos, so we'll get on with it. I'm going to be manipulating this stuff with one hand, so bear with me. This is the Jacoji box. As you can see, I got the white box. Some people, um, they have a black box or a, um, or a red box. That he was uh, distributing over the holidays so we're gonna open up this box and see what's inside um, actually I want to start off by saying that I um, I was interested in the 6.5 millimeter Figaro chain I was also interested in the 7 millimeter rope chain and the custom script pendant so I was interested in all three of those I did ask uh, Braden of Jacoji if he would be open to a discount. Um, he declined and basically said, uh, you know, he couldn't do an, a discount, unfortunately. But um, I was planning on spending about uh, ten grand at the time. That's the only reason I asked. Normally, I wouldn't ask of somebody I didn't do business with in the past. But I figured it didn't hurt to try. Uh, in any event, uh, I'm going to do this review and um, give this product and service a fair review and so we'll get on with it okay this is the Jacoji box I'm gonna man try to manipulate this open with one hand so as you can see it's got the card you see in the other videos authenticity certificate a description of what I bought uh, he was out of stock on the 6.5 millimeter uh, Figaro chain or um, I'm sorry it was actually I said 6.5 .5 millimeter uh, Figaro chain but it's a, I was interested in a 6.5 millimeter uh, Franco chain so it was a Franco chain I was looking for the 7 millimeter rope and script uh, custom pendant so anyway um, he was out of stock on the Franco chain so uh, I just went ahead and purchased the rope and the pendant so the pendant typically takes uh, between two and four weeks to make because it is custom so I basically waited uh, for both uh, items to be finished before this shipped out. I paid one shipping fee of $25. So anyway, as you can see here, 7mm rope chain, 24 inches. Um, that alone was supposed to be 100 grams. And then the pendant uh, was supposed to be 17.5 grams approximately. Uh, the total weight of 117.5 grams and pure 14 karat gold, yellow gold. So, packed by Braden Homek, who is the owner of Jacoji. So, that's the Jacoji card. Uh, next, we have a little velvet pouch here. You're familiar seeing that. And this is a Jacoji pouch, just a regular velvet type pouch. Um, good to store your jewelry in. I personally won't be using it. I'm not big into keeping packaging around. It creates too much clutter for me. Uh, you know, I tend to buy a lot of stuff in general, so I try to keep the, the clutter down. And inside uh, this Ziploc baggie, you have the rope chain and the pendant. So it looks great from here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this bag open, and uh, we'll get back to the review. Okay, as you can see here, the chain is looking hella good right now. Um, this rope chain is a little thicker than uh, what I expected actually and I know what seven millimeters is but uh, seven millimeters on a rope chain is going to look different on a different style chain so um, this looks really good pendants nice and shiny and 
uh, taking a good look at the links and the diamond cut finish. And you know, you want to look for these stamps uh, on the chain 14 carat. So and you have some, you know, some branding stamps on here as well. So I'm going to look for all that stuff and uh, it looks great for now. What I'm going to do is take this pendant off the chain, uh, look at that individually, get a good look at that, and we'll be back in a moment. I'm hoping with this review that I can uh, help you guys make a intelligent buying decision whether you want to buy a 7mm rope chain uh, and whether you want to shop at Jokoji Fine Jewelry. Um, so here's a few common items, a paper mate pen and a quarter so you can see how thick the 7 millimeters is so what I'll do is I'll take this quarter put the chain on it so you can see how thick that is in comparison so I would consider this on the larger medium size of the spectrum so I think 8 millimeters is when it starts to get really big as you can see a better look at this pendant you can see how it's a pretty thick piece probably about four millimeters thick uh, the site advertises about five millimeters but it's not quite that in this case um, as you can see this little piece of gold holding the bail on I wish that was maybe a little bit thicker um, but it looks good actually um, this order I placed this order on February 4th and it wasn't ready until uh, just past the the three week mark um, and so it didn't take too long and it wasn't super fast um, but he had to make this bail uh, custom for this chain because this chain is a little thicker than usual so to make it fit it took a little bit longer to do that so the weight was understandable of course so yeah this is 24 inches long um, and I'm a female so that tends to be a little bit long on me I like my chains a little bit long I don't like to have to unclasp them to uh, take them on and off and as you can see on this pendant I should show you this there's a little uh, little logo and um, I believe that says it's like a little Jacoji logo and it says 14k so hopefully you can see that. Looks like that should be pretty clear. So yeah, so that's stamp two. Put that back down. And yeah, take a good look at these uh, rope links. Diamond cut. Looking good. Now the communication uh, with Braden throughout this has been pretty short, all things considered. Um, I did tell him kind of what my history is, uh, why I was looking to buy what I had previously been buying, and I told him what I was interested in. I mean, I don't know how many people email him and they're not serious about buying or they don't end up buying, so can't hold that against him. Um, and people ask him for discounts and all this stuff. I'm sure he gets that on a regular basis. And he has no way of knowing who's really going to buy and who's not. So, you know, it is what it is. So, okay, that's that. And actually, we're going to start weighing this and measuring this. And so I'm going to get my ruler and my scale ready, and we'll be right back. Okay, now I have my ruler ready. We'll measure and see if this is 24 inches long. We'll start here. And as you can see, link after link, all the way until we get, see how far we get, all the way up to 24 inches. So, pretty accurate. Got what I paid for in that regard. So, now we'll move on and get this uh, digital caliper out and see if it's seven millimeters thick so I'll be right back 
actually before we get that digital caliper uh, we're gonna check the, the size of the pendant so it's supposed to be about two inches as you can see yeah I'd say it is it's about two inches wide and we'll use a digital caliper to check how thick it is uh, but yeah it's pretty accurate I'd say pretty good looking pendant there and I think it might be four millimeters thick because it's probably a little wider than usual so I think he did the right thing there that's looking pretty darn good okay I'll be right back okay I have to manipulate this with one hand so I really had to get this set up uh, on my own without holding the camera but as you can see it's about 3.8 millimeters which is still uh, pretty thick for a pendant I'd say uh, but not quite as thick as uh, some of the others um, the other ones are supposed to be about five millimeters but as you can see it's a little wider which makes it look a little better on the self seven millimeter rope which is a pretty thick chain so I think he made the right decision with that uh, and now we'll get on to um, the rope chain see how thick that is stand by okay it's gonna be pretty hard to show you this on this digital caliper I mean with these rope chains when you're measuring these rope chains you have to measure at the widest point on the chain which is where you see one of these um, places here that I used on the caliper you can't use these little skinny parts in between so as you can see here uh, it definitely is seven millimeters maybe a hair more um, but depending on where you measure along this rope chain uh, it's in the high sixes to uh, low seven millimeters which due to the diamond cuts is uh, normal so I did get what I paid for regarding that uh, but more important than this is uh, if we're gonna check the weight so let's go on ahead and check the weight of this chain okay so here's my scale you'll see a lot of people measure jewelry um, they have a scale we don't know if it's calibrated or not but I'm gonna calibrate the scale so you can see um, the exact weight of this jewelry all right I want it more exact than that so I'm gonna go ahead and calibrate this myself manually so this is a 200 gram weight so that passes you can see it, it's 200 now and so we can go on ahead and weigh some things 16.6 grams for the pendant. Now the pendant is estimated to be 17.5 grams on the website so this one is about a gram less uh, in the grand scheme of things but uh, I know they had to make some adjustments to get this to fit on that seven millimeter rope chain so you see how thick that is it's still a pretty thick pendant when it's all said and done and it is wider than two inches which is a good thing I like that so let's go uh, and measure this rope chain see how heavy that is now it's estimated on the site to be about a hundred grams so we'll go on ahead and let me just bunch this up real good so it'll fit on here uh, and we'll see how heavy it is let's see if we can get it all on there at the same time uh, Okay. So 100.8 grams. So we have just a little bit more on the chain than what we expected. The pendant was a little less, so that about evens out. Uh, it's looking like a fair deal. So as you can see, quality of the rope chain. And let you get a good look at that while I have it on the scale. So yeah, 100.8 grams. The weight looks good. So I guess the last part of this review uh, really is to, I'll do a weight with uh, everything together and then I'll show you what it looks like on. I'm not going to put it on me because I'm kind of still in my uh, bed clothes. It's the morning time. I just had breakfast. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this video. I have a little mannequin I can use uh, that's about my size so you can see how it would fit. So stand by for that. Okay, I know you guys can do the math, but I'll give you the total weight with the pendant on the chain. 
Um, while it's set up, I might as well. Let's see. Okay. So 117.6 grams total. Uh, based on what's on the website, I figured it would be 117.5 grams. So that's dead on. Um, so now that we have that, we'll move on to uh, seeing what this looks like on. Okay, guys. So this mannequin has a neck that's measured 14 inches. My own neck is 13 and a quarter, 13 and a half, right in there. And so this fits a little bit, um, it's a little higher uh, up than it would be on me. So it would be just a tad bit uh, lower on me. Not enough that it's going to make much of a difference. But this is about how it would fit me, um, this chain. So here's a good look at what it looks like. 7 millimeter rope chain, 24 inches long, uh, with the large script pendant. It's about 2 inches plus wide. Um, I think it's the perfect size, really, for the chain. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, I'll try to get a little footage of it um, in natural lighting outside, and I think that ought to do it uh, for this review after that. All right, guys, this is this rope chain and natural lighting outside. So, it looks pretty darn good to me. Koji Fine Jewelry 7mm rope chain, 24 inches long, and a large script pendant, uh, custom pendant. There you have it. Oh, by the way, this is my last name, so just in case you're wondering what that means. It's not a first name, it's a last name. Yeah, so overall, uh, I would buy from Jacoji again. Um, I think his communication is good. It could probably get a little better. Uh, just because uh, some of the people he is communicating with, they are going to buy and they are going to spend a lot of money. And you just never know who that might be, you know. But uh, nothing against them not giving a, a discount. You never know. If, I, if I'm a repeat customer long enough, anything can happen. So... This price is a fairly reasonable anyway, so no big deal. And I ran this through a, uh, a credit card to get some rewards points from Bank of America. So I actually ended up getting uh, 90 bucks back for making this purchase and putting it through a credit card. Just paid it off at the end of the week. Um, I don't re recommend putting this stuff on a credit card uh, for more than 30 days because you're just going to pay interest and you're just going to get robbed at the end of the day. But... Since I have the rewards card, I put that to work for me, and it worked out in the end. So, thanks everybody for watching, and uh, yeah, I'm a fan of uh, Braden Homex's uh, YouTube channel that he has for Jacoji. kind of vlogs and educates people about jewelry, so I recommend you go ahead and tune into that too. So, thanks for watching my review. And uh, you know what, maybe I'll be back when I get that 6.5mm Franco chain. I'm not sure about the length yet, but as soon as he gets those back in stock, maybe I'll buy one from him or somebody else. I guess it depends. All right, I'll see you guys. Thanks for watching.